Hey guys, Jason here from TasteBetter.com. It is Christmas Eve day here, and I'm hanging out at Stately Angela Manor. I'm waiting for the big family dinner tonight. Uh, you may or may not celebrate around this particular holiday, but chances are you've got one or two occasions in your life that come up from time to time where you've got to go to a big social gathering involving food where the majority of the people there eat meat. And I'm not going to talk about restaurants today. This is all about the big dinner at someone's house and you know, how you can make it a little more bearable. First of all, if you've got a chance to bring food, do that. The trick here is to make sure you clear it with the host first. You know, don't just show up with a casserole. You know, it wrecks whatever plans your host has made and comes off. It's pretty much insulting. Uh, if you've got some lead time, you know, ideally around the time of the invite, just ask if you can bring anything. And it's probably you know a good idea to uh, make sure that your host knows that you're vegan around this time too, just to clear the air on that, because otherwise you can lead to some surprises. In a lot of cases, this is going to be really helpful to the host. They got a million things to worry about. The last thing they want to do is, oh man, what are they going to eat? And if you do end up bringing food, bring about twice as much as you're planning on eating. You know, don't bring enough for everyone to have a full meal, because that just replaces the host cooking, and that's kind of a faux pas. But make sure that you've got enough so if someone's interested, they can give it a try. You never know. You know, maybe somebody else at the table is a closet vegan who hasn't heard this advice yet. Now, don't expect that you're going to be converting anyone at this dinner. The key messages you're delivering are that vegans eat tasty food and social gatherings aren't a big hassle. If someone wants the recipe, get their email address and send it to them, you know, along with maybe a few other links, but make them links to recipe sites. Don't do the strong sell on veganism at this point. Just get them interested. And you can follow up later with a link to the veggie challenge or something where people can help get, you know, they can get help uh, going meat free for a week. Uh, if you can't bring food, another thing you can do is eat something light before you go. It's the holidays, there are a lot of gatherings going on, it's not out of the ordinary to have back-to-back -back meals, so if you just explain that you're actually just having the salad because you're stuffed from lunch, you know, mention that you're vegan and stuff, but you don't have to be, oh, I would have eaten something else or I would have prepared, just, you know, I'm just cutting back because, or even, you know, you're trying to cut back on big holiday weight gain. It's not that unusual and people understand. And when you're eating, don't get dragged into a debate about veganism. Again, you know, a holiday meal is probably the absolutely worst time to convert someone to a plant-based diet, or to try to, I should say. Uh, there aren't, there's just too many emotional ties to food and tradition going on, and people can't imagine breaking any of them most of the time, you know, let alone while the food's right in front of them and they're in the middle of the occasion, the thing that they've been waiting for all year. Now, just be polite and, you know, say you don't want to get into it right here, but if they want to talk about it later on, or maybe at your favorite local vegetarian restaurant, you know, that's cool. And finally, a quick reminder, if you want to bring some wine over to the get-together, we've got hundreds of listings of vegan-friendly alcohol over at barnivore.com, so be sure to check that out. Holiday meals can be a bit of a pain, but with some planning and you know some knowledge of what you're getting yourself into, they can generally work out all right. Hopefully these quick tips help. Now what else are you doing to make the big holiday meal more fun? 